Hello? Uh, I picked up a demo very recently. Well, recently for me. This There might be a little while before uh, this gets uploaded, depending on what I decide to do with it. Um, but I picked up a demo for something called Tavern Talk. Uh, it was part of a cozy games, um, like, uh, bun bundle sale demo uh, group on Steam. And I kind of looked through the various things that had demos, and this is the one that happened to catch my eye. Um, now, I don't know if it's going to live up to what it is in my head from the previews and the trailers and the stills that I was seeing. Uh, but from what I saw, it looked interesting. It looked like um, the impression I got of it is you keep a tavern. You mix some magical drinks, you gather rumors and put them together into like a quest board, and then actual like NPC adventurers can come in and go and tell you how they're how they did, and you can help them with things story wise. Um, that is the impression of it I got. I am hoping that it is going to be interesting. I do kind of like the art style; it looks really neat. Uh, I am always going to be a sucker for like various plant and floral uh, elements around a place. Um, and we've got a little friend sitting there. So uh, down here it says alpha version, not indicative of final product. Fair enough; they're still working on it. It is a pre-release demo; it is not out yet. Um, however. It could be something to keep an eye on, so let's go ahead and give this a try. All right, right out the bat, you can choose any pronouns that you would want. I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and start. Act one, the Wayfarer's Inn. That is a beautiful backdrop. Look at that. Fable. Hi, Innkeep. How is it going? All nice and dandy? Can't complain. How about you, Fable? You just, you're just called me. All nice and dandy. Yes, yes, all nice and dandy. I doubt that face. I, I had such an exciting day. Really, really exciting. Did you go on an adventure? Even better. I took a walk around the grove. Then I replanted a mushroom that had fallen over. Then I patiently waited for it to turn into a mushroom monster or a mushroom mimic. Maybe a gnome? Did it? No. But I got to take another walk around the grove. How was it? Great! I got to see the same stones, the same trees, the same amaranthine hydra, hydra guarding the entrance to Avalon, the same moss. <laughs> Sounds very exciting. Who am I kidding? My life is ex as exciting as a dried nut. Nuts are healthy. Very thrilling in sauces or as a snack. There are various nut types, walnuts. Peanuts? Pecan nuts? Okay, I'm sorry. Th this is awkward. Just give it up before she cries much more. I'm allergic. <laughs> oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> Good thing to know before I make anything for you, though. Oh, no worries. I mean, I never told you. I just wish something would happen in my life. Something riveting. So what you're saying is you're missing the spice. Oh, no, no, no. I have a very sensitive stomach. I don't think chilies would help me much. <laughs> oh, no. I was talking about the spice in your life. Ah, oh, that's what you meant. Well, yes, yes, exactly, that's it. There's no chili flakes, no garlic, no nymphs, no dragons. Just a lot of salt. And like a bland soup. A classic case of boredom, I see. Do you know that feeling when nothing is exci when nothing exciting is going on in your life? Like, life isn't bad, but also not particularly funny. All right, I can uh, make, su make a suggestion. Have you tried visiting a circus? Have you tried adding some zest to your soup? No idea what these are going to do. Um, this is just running circles around the same uh, metaphor we've been doing. This is maybe a more concrete direction, but she may or may not take it. Let's go ahead with it. Huh? Well, perhaps you can find something funny there. I'm not into the whole circus thing. Clowns scare me. I always think they have ulterior motives. Uh, okay, bad choice. She didn't like clowns. But apart from that, I'm trying. I tried singing. But what is singing if not the telling of a tale? How can I sing of things if I never lived through anything? Day in, day out, I live in the same green soup of routines. Sure, I have my forest and I look after it. But I want to get out there and see something. Like, for example, saving people, wandering through the marshes, meeting a pretty nymph. A pretty nymph, that's pretty daring. Sounds like the opening to a grand adventure. There you go. Of course it is. That's the point, finding them enjoying themselves in the water. 
The sun shining through the treetops, making the stream glisten in fragmented light, the divine beauty. I would love to sing about the exciting magical things I encounter. But to be honest, the most exciting thing in my life is coming to your tavern and discovering new drinks. Not a lot of songs you can write about that. You'd be surprised what advertisers have come up with. I wouldn't mind a jingle, <laughs> exactly. I'll think of one. Can I mention nymphs? <laughs> I'd prefer if you didn't. I don't know, again, you'd be surprised what advertising has come up with. Okay, maybe one day I get to offer them their own jingle. In the meantime, can I offer you a drink? Yes, I would love a drink. The usual? Yes, please. That means a sunny breeze, in case you forgot. Thank you for the reminder, Fable. It's my favorite. It always makes me feel like a featherlight nymph floating in the waves of a sunny lake. Do you want to be with the nymph or be the nymph? Both? <laughs> but mostly I just want a sunny breeze. Okay. Though, though, I was wondering. I've been coming to your tavern for so long and I still don't know anything about how you make your drinks. Could you show me? Tutorial time. Okay, I've never done this before, so tutorial time. Alright, do you need to put on an apron or summon a familiar? I doubt it. I think you just watch. How do I summon a familiar? Just follow me. Also, that pigeon occasionally uh, drops something that cannot be... Not a pigeon, it's a magpie. That cannot be hygienic. Uh, anyway. There's Andy. Welcome to my drink mixing nook. So this is what it looks like back here. Hello, Andu. Andu, it's not a cutoff Y, it's a U. Careful, I haven't fed him yet. Alright. We usually start by figuring out what my patrons want. To make sure I don't forget, I take notes in my journal. Let's have a look. Okay, you pinned your order. We've got Last Whisper, we've got Sunny Breeze. If I want to look for specifics, I check my detailed notes. I do to keep a log just in case. When I'm sure I know what was asked of me, I browse my recipes. Can't just freehand mix something to see what sticks? No. I like to mix and match for a more varied result, but the right balance is crucial, so I stick to my recipes. Okay. We put chalk on the board. What if you pick the wrong one? I can either erase it or pick a different one. Alright. Ingredients are spored in five bottles on the right. Dexterity, intelligence, defense, strength, and charisma. I think dexterity sounds the tastiest. I had a feeling you might say that. If I mess up and want to redo it, then I can simply feed my mistake to Andu. That's her garbage disposal, but he's happy to be of service. Once I'm done, I press the bell to activate the primordial vortex. Actually, I don't need to bore you with the magic details. Just try making a drink. You've got this. Okay. So what we need is we need that, we need Sunny Breeze, draw a recipe, so we need it to look like a triangle. So definitely up Dexterity. It's like, Dexterity is definitely the highest. Uh, which one? Ah, good, they light up. I am not forced to, uh, they also are in order. Good. Okay. So clearly, ah, look at that, look at that, look at that. Just pour it in until it peaks. Okay, it drops right back in. It looks like I need just a little bit of these two. So, uh, let's see. Those triangles are at the next peak. Whoops. Too much, too much. Sorry, buddy. Okay, I don't have to use all of it. I can just do some. Okay, that works. It looks like I just need to go to the uh, next fill line. Whoops, there we go. I am trying my best. Sunny Breeze. All right. Con confirmation I got it right. Ding. There he goes. <laughs> and up it appears in a nice fancy cup and flourish and everything. Wow, it actually does teleport. Of course. What do you think? What did you think was happening? I thought you were just very good at sleight of hand. I see. Well, give your creation a taste. All right. You made that. <laughs> Thank you for showing me the ropes. All right. There we go. Looks like, uh, looks like a cat has been through. That is definitely damage on the wall from claws. We've got a tentacle monster up there of some kind. These adventures you dream of, aren't you scared they'd be the end of you? Sometimes. But how would I know if I never tried? Do you actually want to try? Well, yes, I want to tell great stories, but... Never mind. Oh, let it out. Oh my god, who is this edgy boy, and why is he not in the lone table in the shadowiest corner? Okay, he's just gonna stare. How can I help you? A drink. For you? Right. What kind? Drinkable. Very specific, thank you. 
I am on my way to a fight. Need to pay some debts. Give me something that will boost my defense so I can claim victory. Thank you for actually specifying that. I'll see what I can find. Okay, so. Uh, oh, it just automatically brought me over. I didn't actually click on that. I was thinking I would have to, but I didn't. All right, so. Order. Something with defense. So we want something peeking right down there. Nope. 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 Uh, peak sunrise would be fairly high. Nope, steel tonic. Steel tonic is obviously what we're after. Okay, what we need is, all right, we need uh, defense peaked all the way up. So let's go ahead and get that growing. One, two, three. All right. Now, it looks like we just need one line each of uh, this thing. I forgot what it is. Just a little bit more. Oh, okay, there we go. It's fairly, it seems fairly forgiving for uh, me splooshing around. Good. Steel tonic, done. Let the vortex go. Let's see how it fancies up. Yep, there we go. This should taste like victory. Thanks, he says. Almost washes away the memories of the banshee haunting the lonesome lagoon at night. Oh my god, you edgy thing. And her bone-shattering song of sorrow. Almost. Enough to kick some at least. All right, rumor unlocked. Songs of bones and water. Okay, cool. A banshee is haunting the lonesome lagoon, wailing a song that will shatter your bones. Hopefully a rhetorical device. Interesting. Okay, rumors, quests, log. All right, that's the last conversation. There's my recipes, my ingredients. Ah, they've got special names and uh, write-ups of them. I love that kind of stuff. Oh, infusions. That's something I'm going to find out about later. Oh, well, if it's in the demo. All right. There he goes. The brooding type, I see. He's gone off to the shadowiest table in the darkest corner. What are you thinking about, Fable? Nothing. Just dreams. Yours or someone else's? Mine. Other people seem to have courage to follow theirs. Why can't I be like that? Isn't that up to you? I wish it was. My brother says my dreams are a fool's errand, that I am running away from where I belong. Is that what he said? Yes, he said... We are rangers, Fable. We belong to the woods like the stream that patters down the mountain. We keep the balance. It's what we're meant to do. And is that what you want to do? Yes. No. Not really. I want to experience things outside the safe borders of the forest. I want to live a life so full of adventure boredom will feel like a bliss. I want to be brave and strong. And I want to sing songs about my adventures that make other people yearn for the same freedom. Of course, I could never leave the Ashen Grove behind forever. It is my home. But there is nothing wrong with going away from time to time, right? I mean, my family looks after the grove. I think it'd be fine without me. Then you should do what your heart desires. Will it stop aching, then? I think so, yes. But what if destiny never meant for me to leave? What if it did? That would be a dream come true. Okay, be your own genie, Fable. Your adventures start with you. Thank you, Innkeeper. You really are the most exciting part of my day. Go change that. All right, a little later. Ooh, we got a night cycle. Oh, okay. With whom do I have the pleasure? The name's Carlin. Carlin, really. You can call me Car or Lynn. Couldn't care less. Nice to meet you, Car. Lynn. What can I do for you? You do the thing with the quests, right? Yes, do you want one? You can have a look at my notice board. Eh, no. I may have one for you, or your notice board. Elaborate? Heard of a werewolf making trouble up in Tregarin. Tregarin. A werewolf? That's news to me. Listen, me too. Didn't see one in almost a decade, and that was far south in Erova. Been wondering if it's the same one, just moving up like a nomad. Okay, I thought the werewolf hype died together with that one romance novel. <laughs> Ugh. You mean the one with the vampires? Okay, yeah, we're making pop culture references. Nah, that just splits society into two camps. Yep. Which one were you eating? I, no, I, w I did not have a horse in this race. I didn't care. I really didn't care. Whatever. I, I wasn't part of this. Why is there no third option for no thank you? There should be a third option for no thank you. Uh, 
That loses a point. Forcing me to choose between things that n n I know. Whatever. Flip a coin. Heck and roll a die. Even or odds. Let's see. Odds. So that's the first one. Team Werewolf. Is it the fur or the pecs? Neither. Questionable experiences with the other camp more so. I'm itching to ask for details. Don't. How about you? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes. Fair's fair. All I'm saying is the downside of looking like a wolf is getting mistaken for one. Is that the reason you don't want to take care of the werewolf yourself? Yes. No. I'm just afraid he might look a little too familiar. A little too familiar to my uncle dragon. Would feel bad slaying that fella. A little too familiar? Do you mean a little too similar? You know, hunched back, hairy, crooked teeth. Is it a werewolf or un just Uncle Dragon? You couldn't tell. Yeah, it, it should have been looked too looked uh, too similar, not familiar. Want to avoid an awkward family reunion, you know? All right. Anything else that might help others get done with it rather swiftly? Fetch. Pardon me. Should they get into a dangerous situation, they'll just have to start playing fetch. That works. On any dog, trust me. <laughs> Good to know. Thanks, Car- Car- Lynn. It's not that hard. Either Carlin, Car, or Lynn. Alright, I get to pick. Carlin. Alright, Chief, you got a name or is it just Inkeep? Just Inkeep for now. Playing hard to get, I see. Well, Inkeep, then before I venture on, you've got a drink for me. Alright, what would you like? Something powerful with strength. Nothing watered down. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's see, what do I have? That's a lot of strength. Eh, no, not enough. Sailor's Courage, probably. Yeah, Sailor's Courage has the most strength. Okay. I think this is strength. Get all the way up to the third tier. I, w I should probably have checked first, but uh, I didn't. Oh well. Uh, okay, and then we need just a little bit of defense. And then just a little bit of dexterity. Let's go for it. Here's hoping this is the one. Drink with zero water as requested. Not bad, just what I was craving. Okay, where will you head from here? Haps back north through the Ashen Grove, got some business to clean up. What kind of business? My cousin claims her crops are being stolen by undead snails. I'd say she's hallucinating, but I did hear some folks complaining about an undead uptake up north. So undead uptake up north. I might as well humor her. It's odd, ain't it? Resurrecting the dead. Think there's not much use digging up the past. The past haunts everyone willing to listen. Would you mind talking like a normal person? No. Then don't bother. This is my tavern. And I'm leaving it. If you find any more rumors or near aid, need aid, don't shy away from coming back. I'm more of a lone wolf, don't do groups, but sure, I'll be back for more work. I'll be waiting. Speaking of rumors, you know how to turn them to proper quests, right? Don't want them to go to waste. Uh, let's give me the tutorial real quick. So, we can uh, sort rumors, we keep them in the journal, yep, yep. So. So we need to just drag and drop the same quest onto the board. Okay. So we just need to play a uh, link the rumors. There she goes. Time to assemble a quest. Unusual amount of undead, werewolf, banshee, uh, werewolf, and werewolf. Okay, yep. That's that one, that's that one, that's that one. Okay. Werewolf on detours. A recent, a reticent Vukakin. Okay, that's what she's called. Passed by the Wayf Wayfarers Inn, reporting a werewolf making their way up to Trigarian from Erova. They pose a potential threat to helpless villagers. Apparently, werewolves, werewolves love playing fetch. Are you brave enough to take on the quest and save Trigarian from this werewolf mayhem? Inkeep. Interesting. Okay. I see, I see. I've got a banshee and an undead thing. Now, the question is do banshee count as undead in this setting? Or are they something else? Andu is getting fed, and we're preparing for the night. Interesting. I think that was the loading screen. Though it is still dark, so maybe this is loading. Okay. So, 
Uh, next day, prelude to bravery. Let's start the day. I like the little bit of art in between. Huh. It's a clearer day. Quest taken. Fable. What do you have there, Fable? I found this on your nose board. It says a werewolf is terrorizing Trigarin. Is that true? It is indeed. Have you sent anyone after it yet? Not yet. What kind of hero are you, um, looking for? One who knows their way around difficult terrain. Woods, even. Preferably one who's good with the bow. One that will tell me that they want the quest. Ah, I am good with a bow. Yes, Fable. And I know my way around any woods. I know Fable. And, and, maybe I want that quest? Just maybe? No, no, not just maybe. Since yesterday, all I've been able to think about is you telling me to follow my heart. And then I step into your tavern, and the quest practically jumps out at me, and I think, Hey, there's a start for an adventure. It's near a forest. You know forests. You live in a forest. And werewolves are just basically just normal wolves, but slightly scarier because they're also human. But you've talked to humans before. And you've got silver arrows for your birthday last year, and they're just collecting dust in your room. And, and, and. And I thought I could ask you about if anyone had taken it yet. And then? I didn't think that far. I see. Or rather I did, but then I thought, oh, what if I take the quest? Then I have to go on the quest. And I have to fight the werewolf. Or talk to the werewolf, which is worse. Because what if the werewolf doesn't like me, and what if I try to shoot it with my silver arrow? I miss and shoot a tree instead, and then the tree will be mad at me. But it won't really matter, because I'll be dead. Because of the werewolf. That took a quick turn. So maybe I should put the quest back. Fable? Yes? Do you want me to tell you to take that quest? Maybe? I can't make that decision for you. Neither can I. Whenever I have to make a difficult decision, I freeze in place. And suddenly I'm unable to move until someone makes the decision for me. Like, like, like a slime. A frozen slime. A frozen slime that can't move. I've met slimes less anxious than you. You've met slimes? My tavern is open to everyone. Oh, right. What do slimes drink? Water. More slime. Bones. You sell bones? Only to slimes. Ah, maybe you can add my bones to your menu soon. You'll just have to pick them up from the forest. I think I would have a hard time convincing a werewolf to give up free bones. Why are you so anxious, Fable? In general? About taking the quest. It seems to me that you want to take it, but you're trying to talk yourself out of it instead. Oh, well... I do want to go on that quest. It would make a good start for a song, right? The prelude of an epic, fable, the protector of the woods, the world, the worms. The worms? They seem like they need protecting. But every time that I think about embarking on a quest, all I can think about are the ways in which it could go wrong. Is there something making you feel like you might fail? Aside from the bloodthirsty werewolf? We don't know what it's thirsty for. It might prefer orange juice. It might. Well, heroes have a history, right? Inspirational feats they can look back on to define their bravery. I have the opposite of that. Great mistakes and epic regrets. Like the Mary Morgan incident. Or the reason why nobody wants to spend time with me. Okay. I've got a choice. Which one? The Mary Morgan incident? Yes, the Mary Morgan incident. Didn't you hear of it? Oh, thanks, Spirit. Word didn't carry around. It was my very first adventure. The chance to finally get out of my daily grind. What happened? An adventuring party was on their way, passing through the Ashen Grove. They wanted guidance from a local ranger, a merchant up in Trigarian, what recommended me. I agreed to help, of course. My first adventure. Yay. I was so excited, but also very, very nervous. So of course it ought to go wrong. I really wanted to leave a good impression, but my bad gut luck got in the way of that. How did it go wrong? They... 
I felt their condescending looks on my back as I walked them through the woods. Of course, I don't know whether they were actually looked, but my fear got a hold of me and I led them astray. I blacked out, I think. Never got lost in the woods before. But I couldn't see well with the blood rushing my ears and feeling dizzy. So, for some stupid reason, I led them along a path no one should ever pass. Past the riverbanks of the Shiver Mare, home to the Mary Morgan. You know of the Mary Morgan, yes? The wrathful spirit that's known to drown men? Not sure if she really differentiates between genders, though. For some stupid reason, I led them right into her arms. I got scared, and in the end, they had to save me. They fought the creature, and we finally found a way out when dawn broke. I couldn't look at them for the rest of the journey. I was too embarrassed to speak. I'm sure I'm still their laughing stock at every gathering. How am I ever supposed to set a foot in the adventuring world again? To be fair, it could have been worse. I could have led them right into the arms of the Wyvern Chimera, residing in the Quag Mangrove. They say it has a taste for adventurers. But you didn't. But I didn't. You seem to be very insecure. I think that's the biggest problem. But how can I not be? All I ever do is fail. I don't think that's true. You've done many wonderful things, and the future is yet to be written. I don't think anyone ever really wants to read my story. I would. Personally, I'm very much looking forward to hearing about your heroic ballads. So, you think I should go on that quest? Perhaps. Even after what you've just heard? I almost killed those adventurers. How am I supposed to save anyone? I'll probably just make it worse. Your absence will not make it better. You don't know that. Neither do you. All we know is that without you, there will be one less person helping them. Someone else will do a better job. There might not be someone else. That would be horrible. Someone has to help those people. They can't just be abandoned. I agree. But what if I do make it worse? What if you make it better? What if you help them? Save them, even. So what if you make a mistake in the middle, or if someone else comes along to give you a hand? Four hands are better than two, and who knows, you might even end up joining a party. Perfect heroes do not exist anyhow, just ones that try, even if they are scared. What if they're terrified? Then they should try terrified. At least that means they are trying, instead of running away. Would you prefer to run? No. I think I only run because I'm better at it. But then again, I never really try anything else. Maybe I should not decide to walk away before I even tried the other path. And in a case of emergency, better heroes can always save me again. Or you them. One day, maybe. First I'm going to save all these villagers. So that at least some of us don't have to be afraid anymore. No werewolf shall stand a chance against me, right? Right. You will do great. I just know it. But before you go, would you like a drink to aid you on your journey? Yes, please. I even got new infusions this morning, so I am well prepared to help. Interesting, I get to learn what infusions are. Okay, what do I have? I've got some Thunder Sage, which is said to enchant words. With its magic, you should be able to inspire others and boost their abilities through your support. And then I have a couple golden feathers. They're extremely rare, but once in your possession, they can grant you haste. Briefly, the expiration date is a bit unpredictable. How did you get those? Pure luck. All right then, keep your secrets. Uh, so considering all of that, do you have something that can make me more nimble and quiet so the werewolf won't see me coming? Something with a lot of dexterity. If I want to fight it, I'm going to need that surprise round advantage, so maybe haste would be helpful too. Or maybe instead something that helped me with diplomacy? Perhaps it's just a hungry, lost like, and after all, and all it needs is a pep talk and a hug. Maybe we can even be friends. Uh, but I would need something with a lot of charisma for that, and some additional inspiration. I'll leave the choice up to you, just make sure you don't pick a random recipe. Okay, so basically I can, yep, influence your fate, you can change the entire outcome of the quest. But of course I'm sure you're already aware, sorry for backseat mixing. Okay. Immediately go over. Access to infusions. Have to be careful of how they interact with the other ingredients. Oh dear. 
It might alter the drink in a way where I have to use different ingredients than usual. Make sure to keep an eye on the coaster shape so I can mix the correct recipe. Huh. Add an infusion first and adjust the drink from there. Let's give it a try. Okay, so. We're either going for pure dexterity or pure charisma. However, we need to do an infusion first. So. Motivation or speed? Oh man, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's go for the Thunder Sage. Now, how do I actually use it? Because I am... Clear that. Ah, it's up here. Gotcha. There's the Thunder Sage. There's the Golden Feather. There's the Thunder Sage. Okay. So let's drop that in first and that immediately is bringing me closer to there so i need i thought that was that's defense though and i need charisma how do i get charisma in there ah crown so i need something with the crown peak sunrise okay i think that would be the one let's draw that recipe let's get the crown up there all the way to the end and immediately we're there we don't have to add, add anything else it's just this okay interesting okay here we go oh she looks so nervous thank you I feel much better braver farming no wait that sounds like I'm tending to a farm there are a lot of farmers in Trigarin, and I am going to protect them all, or talk to them until they feel better. I'm sure they w could need that too. I just hope I don't have to fight anyone. No, I'll be okay. Because of your help, I'll be able to talk myself out of any situation. Thank you again. I think this drink gave me the courage I needed. I believe in you, Fable. Thank you. I will try to follow your example. Follow your heart instead. I think that one's a better roadmap can't wait to tell you about my victory. God, I hope I didn't just send her to die. Best of luck. I doubt it, right? Like, this has to be a recurring character. Best of patience. I hope Fable will be alright. I hope they don't run into a clown. Or maybe they should. They could become friends. Fable the mighty hero and their best friend the magic clown. Is that anything? Maybe not. Alright. End of the day. Okay. Okay, still Act 1, Chapter 3. New friends and former enemies. Oh, they're back. They're together now. Innkeep, a drink for me and this lanky fella. It is good to see you too, Carlin. She meant to say please. Welcome back, Fable. You look alive. Thank you. I am. That seems like a given. I'm just happy to see them doing well, and with a friend. We ain't friends. We're not? Oh no. So you didn't join a party? No. Oh. Then what is the drink about? They may be very annoying, but they did just help me solve a family feud of ten years. So I do owe them some of your dishwater, at least. Come on, you liked the last one. Family feud. I wouldn't call it a feud, more of a miscommunication. No, it was a feud. I was gonna kill him. I thought that was a joke. It wasn't. Oh. But no one died? No. Elfie here was able to prevent it. It's Fable. Whatever. Does this, perchance, have something to do with your quest? It does. I stopped her from killing the werewolf. Elaborate, please. I was going to kill the werewolf. They stopped me from killing the werewolf. What's not to get? I thought you were avoiding the werewolf. A lot. I think she is confused because the quest was to save the villagers from the werewolf. And now it sounds like I saved the werewolf from you. Which I did, kind of. 
I also remember you saying you did not want the quest, Carlin. I didn't. Was there by chance? They were both stealing sheep. Wasn't. Sure was. Adventuring pay ain't what it once was. <laughs> oh my god. So you steal other people's sheep? Mind your own business. How does any of this lead to a successful quest? Well, um... After leaving your tavern, I traveled swiftly through the Ashen Grove. I reached the border of Dragarian right after dawn. The vineyard stretched far ahead, and I saw the one or other farm nestled in between. Truly idyllic, at least before sunset. Do you have trouble in the dark? Emotionally? Visually. A little. I mean, I reckon I can still see more than a human could, but darkness is darkness, and I am no owl. Thanks, Spirit. You're already weird enough. Oh no. Don't give the social anxiety any further social anxiety. Anyway, luckily darkness doesn't affect my hearing. So I hear a creaking fence and footsteps there are failing at keeping it quiet. Your ears are failing at being small. So I sneak closer and I see a werewolf-esque shape picking up a tiny sheep. I was petting it. Thinking she was going to steal it, I summoned all my courage and I stepped out of the shadows and said, Good evening, werewolf. Please put down the sheep. I didn't expect her to be in her full senses, of course, but I wanted to be polite. And I thought it might confuse her. It did confuse me, all right. Who the heck sees a werewolf and the first thing they do is greet them? A polite person. Or an insane one. Well, it worked, didn't it? Because I ain't a werewolf. He wasn't that different. But I am skipping ahead. To my surprise, instead of a growl, the werewolf, or not werewolf, responded with a what? Surprised my plan work, I said again, please put down the sheep. Because stealing sheep isn't very nice. And she asked who I was. No, I asked, who are you, a guard? I was about to introduce myself when we heard this blood-curling growl. Please, it was barely a bark. They made the blood freeze in my veins. Hearing heavy footsteps, I barely dared to turn around. You turned immediately. And when I did, I stared into the twisted face of a werewolf, yellow gleaming eyes. Gleaming with jaundice. Sharp teeth, giant claws. He looked like he wanted to eat me right up. He did. But before I could beg for mercy, something rushed past me and lunged at the werewolf. Whenever I gained my composure, Carlin and the werewolf were on the ground fighting tooth and nail. And the sheep? Obviously, I set it down before. So you came to Fable's aid? No. That ain't it. I noticed the wolf's flannel rags. They were blue, checkered, had an uneven print. Just like the kind of stunk Uncle Dragon likes to wear that old... Beepity beep beep beep. Hey, why can't I say that? Oh, she's trying. <laughs> Youth protection. The age rating assessment is quite harsh. Oh dear. Ah. Anyway. It was dressed like Uncle Dragon, smelled like Uncle Dragon, fought like him too. I was joking when I brought it up before, you know. Haven't seen that old man in years. The only way I can bring him up these days is by joking. Because of the feud? Yes. He used to be my favorite uncle, but then he changed. Became irritable and angry, distant, fought, with a, fought a lot with Uncle Fedor. Cared more about the moon than he did his own family. Eventually, he just left, ran away, without a word. Left us, and Uncle Fetter began to worry senseless. Until we found a letter saying not to look for him and all their savings missing. Swore it was gonna kill him if I ever saw him again. So that's why you wanted to talk it out with your fists. I tried, but Elfie stopped me. I'm glad they did. How did you figure that out? Well, she was yelling at him. I tried to get their attention by telling them to stop, but they wouldn't listen, so... So what? Did I miss a line? Hold on. Tried to get their attention by telling them to stop, but they wouldn't listen, so it got them to stop for long enough to get them to listen to me. I think we skipped a line. Oh. The lines are out of order. I threatened that if they didn't stop to talk, I would shoot them both. Okay. Yeah, we have a small error here. Lines out of order. I would have never done that, of course. But they must have believed me because they actually stopped to listen. Looked mighty scary there, little guy. Thank you. 
I sat them down and made sure to go between them, and so that if they wanted to fight, they would have to go through me. That sounds dangerous. Was. Wouldn't have stopped for them. What? You're the size of a stick. You think you can stop two angry wolves? Oh, well, anyway. I used the opportunity to figure out what was going on. And that's how I found out about Mr. Dragon and Carlin and the disagreement. Feud. The feud, sure. Turns out that after Mr. Dragon was turned, he was too ashamed to admit it. And that it ended up hurting all the people he cared about. That's no excuse, of course. No, it ain't. If we'd have known, we'd have helped him best we could. At the very least, we'd have built a sturdy shed with scratch-proof walls for full moons. He didn't expect that, though, so he decided to fix the problem by leaving. Deal with it alone, all of that. But that only made it worse. Of course, he was too embarrassed to come back, so... He just focused on the whole werewolf thing and not any of the human things. That's something he and Carlin have in common. What? The stubbornness and unwillingness to ask for help. But they had to talk about it. The silent resentment wasn't good for either of them. And you got them to do that? The little stick is strangely persuasive. Something about their earnesty is frustratingly inspiring. The drink worked. Had us talking about it before I even realized I didn't want to. Maybe because you did want to. <laughs> Maybe. How did it go? Fine. We'll take some time to accept his apology. We'll have to see him change first, and apologize to Uncle Fetter and the rest. But it was good to see him again. Guess a hug did feel better than a great sword in his gut. Wonderful. Of course, there's still the problem with the whole werewolf thing. Idiot got so obsessed with the cure he can still barely control himself. We helped him realize that even a cure couldn't change what he's done. That he has to accept he's different now and learn how to live again. Of course, it isn't easy. No change ever is. I learned that from you. But we have a group of werewolves living near our settlement. A small community that enjoys the company of our warm trees. They taught me about the phases of the seven moons and the secrets of the moon signs. That sounds like a bunch of baloney. It's real. You're Crescent Moose. Oh no, it's astrology with, with lunar stuff instead of stars. We introduced Mr. Dragon to them, and they promised they would take him in and help him deal with his lycanthropy. That sounds great. It is. It's a happy ending. Wouldn't call it an end, rather the beginning of something new. So the end of an adventure is just the beginning of a new one? Exactly. I like that. So, after your heroic therapy session, you two decided to grab a drink together? Got offered to spend the day at the settlement. But they don't serve anything strong enough for my tastes. Plus, Elfie was dying to go back here. Was talking about how they needed to update you on everything non-stop. Would think they live here or something. Had to report back about the quest. I'm glad you did. So a drink. What can I offer you, Carolyn? Surprise me with something that fits my strength and brawn. Okay. So we just basically want something pretty strong. Probably that one. Is there anything that's secondary? Frosted Lagoon is strength and intelligence, but mostly intelligence. Probably it'd be Sailor's Courage again. So yeah. Let's go ahead and fill that top. Level three. And now we need a little bit of this. I like the guidelines on the thing, it helps a lot, and a little bit of this. Done. Ding! Okay, there we go. Surprise! Not bad, you should do this professionally. I'll think about it. Fable, what about you? Do you have something that will calm me down? Even bring some of my agility back? I would like to feel dexterous again. That was a stressful day, night, morning... Something. Okay. So we want the same old sunny breeze as before. Draw the recipe. Whoop. All the way up to level three. There we go. Little bit of this. It's relatively simple once you get used to it. Oh, I did a little bit too much. Let's just 
put a little bit of that in there. Let's uh, put this back. There we go. There we go. Okay. Zoop it goes. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let them enjoy the drinks. You look tired. Have you considered sleep? Because it tastes so bad? So do you. Maybe sleep is a good idea. Carlin, do you have a place to sleep? I can sleep anywhere. It's a talent. It's depressing. I have a free room. You can stay there. I'll count it as payment for your help with the quest. Fine. Later, Elfie. See you late. She's gone. Ter. Are you heading home, Fable? Not yet, if that's okay. I think I'd like to stay here for a little longer, calm down a bit, before I check in all of my plants. Unless you need to close up. Stay, please. Did you enjoy your first quest? I did. It was scary and different than I expected, but I didn't know I was so good at pretending to be charming. Have you considered that you weren't pretending? Hmm. I hope this isn't going to be my last adventure. I think this is just the beginning. That would be nice. Do you think I'm going to save the world one day? That is a very tall ask. Ha, you're right. I'm not cut out for that. I didn't say that. I would just prefer if the world did not end. Right. Let's hope not. I like this world, and calamity like that would be disastrous, even if it would make for a good song. Or for a sad one. Or both. Thank you for believing me in, in me, Innkeeper. Always. I can't wait to hear about your next quest. Me neither. Okay. A little later, quite late. Oh, we've got some new people. Oh, there's slimes involved. Oh, that's a vampire, definitely. Good day, little green mortal. Good day, Mr. Vampire. And good day to you two, illustrious innkeeper. Good evening, vampiric vampire. That's the best you can do. I am running out of lines. So you're another one of those empty babblers. I can confidently say I'm all but empty. Pardon me? See, I told you. Empty. Yes, you were very right indeed. She does look delicious. Back off, buddy. That's not what I said. Either way, what a snack. Back off, buddy. Thank you. Though I should let you know I am not on the menu. What a great day of woe. First my cape, and now this. You have a cape? The most exquisite one of all of a in all of Asteria. Words would not be able to do justice to its beauty. Have you seen it, by the way? No, that's why we're here. Perhaps the slime ate your cape. That little creature so doesn't seem like it would do such a horrible thing. Does it have a name? I never asked. Probably not. Maybe you should sometime. Speaking of names, what may yours be, little leafling? That's Fable, the up and coming great the great up and coming hero from the Ashen Grove. Just Fable is fine. How about you, Mr. Vampire? Me? What other vampires are there in this room? Hopefully none, but you can never know for sure. My name is Sir Alphonse Louis Frederick de Get de La Oh god, no. It's long for Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. May I ask for your name as well, miss? You may stop calling me Miss. Sorry! Call me Ray instead. Ray of Frost Grip. Nice to meet you, Ray of Frost Grip. Kyle and unnamed slime. Indeed, welcome to my tavern. Now that we're past the pleasantries, would you like to tell me more about that cape? It's some sort of invisibility cape, if any of his blabbering is to be believed. And let me guess, he stopped wearing it, he put it down, and it's gone invisible. That's not very magical. It is, but he seems to have lost it. I have? You have. What a great tragedy. Have you forgotten already? My cape of invisibility is of under importance. If I do not get it back, I'm afraid I shall perish immediately. That sounds very magical. Dearest innkeeper, dearest fable, I must retrieve my cape. Could you please help me? I think I know just what to do. Alright, that's it for the demo, it seems. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Go back to the main menu then. Huh. I don't know what I think about.
about it. It definitely has a single road narrative. It's almost got more narrative and dialogue than I was really expecting. I thought there would be a lot more of gameplay in the vein of making the drinks and setting the quests and things, like more random people coming through rather than a small set cast. But okay. I don't know, it's interesting. Maybe it's something to, like, play through on your own one day. Um, I don't see there being, at least not in the little bit of the demo, I don't see there being a lot of splitting of, uh, of major events happening with the choices you make. Because in theory, I could have sent Fable with the dexterity potion. And who knows, maybe, um, maybe that would have gone differently. Or maybe it still would have ended with Carlin and the uncle somehow talking it out, making it up or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what kind of butterfly effects could be going on. Probably not a lot. If I were to guess. Still, uh, very, very nice art style. Nice character expressions. Um, good character personalities kind of shining through. There wasn't one little glitch, but that was just a glitch, and they'll probably, like, find it or be sent it or something, and then have it fixed by the time they get around to releasing the full thing with the, uh, swapped dialogue. I don't know. It seems like an interesting little narrative game. Maybe I'll check it out in full someday when it comes out in full. But, yeah. Till, uh, till next time, this was just a demo, and I'll be back to more regular games uh, in the future. Thanks for hanging out, and see ya!